there are times when you don't create the resources you need to refer or fetch the information to create your resources uh -huh. if it doesn't make any sense let me explain you again for example if you want to create a disk to a resource group which has already been created in your portal then you cannot use resource just like resource like this because this is the syntax to create a resource but right now you gotta refer a resource right hi my name is Arun and welcome to Pachera Talks channel and today's topic is Terraform data resource and how to use it uh, with Azure RM provider I am I have opened this uh, code already let me go back to let me open the folder uh, data source okay and I don't see okay there it is cool and uh, I have created one data.tf file which is blank this is just to explain you what we are trying to do all right so what we need to do we need to create a disk inside a resource group which has already been created okay so what we need to do we need to create the data not the resource but the data we need to create data and it has the same thing same syntax type and the name okay so here our type is Azure. Let me click here. Azure RM underscore resource underscore group. Okay. And need to give a logical name here. Let's put it RG. Now we need to give the name of an existing resource group. I know I have. Uh, existing resource group name ARG already so I'm creating this I'm referring to this resource group. I'm fetching the information from the Azure portal that I want to deploy a disk inside this ARG resource group that's why I'm using data source instead of resource because resource is all about creating but if you want to fetch the information, you got to use the data. And this is a very important syntax. Once you start building your resources with the help of Terraform, you would realize you need to fetch the information a lot many times. Okay. So this is not about typing all the codes. This is only about to understand all the syntax in the Terraform till now. And let's do it. So now we need to create resource. And that resource is Azure RM Manage Disk. Okay. Let's give it a name Disk. Okay. Cool. Now it has name. It requires name, of course. Let's put it here Managed Disk. Now sorry now location where you want to put let's make it in the same location where the resource group belongs to right so you need to use the interpolation syntax and you need to refer just like we do in resource code in the past videos similarly we are doing here location right so we refer data dot azure rm uh, azure rm hyphen resource group dot rg dot location there is no location right now here because it has we are not creating this we are fetching the information from the uh, data you know so wherever this resource group is it will pick the same location 
what else we need we need the resource group name of course that will be the same thing as we have this right dot name of course that would be the name of my resource group for this managed disk now we need storage account of course we need a storage account type that would be let's save some money and put standard standard LRS instead of premium or ZRS and we need to choose the create option let's make it empty okay and disk size in GB let's make it one okay you can make it look good your code so you can align indent that's what they say I think yeah indent and now it's looking far better now we have created our code now what we do the very first we do terraform in it right initialize the terraform i hope this code is totally understandable now we're getting the information from here and we're putting this uh, disk creating new resource in the information in the resource group that coming from here okay till now we were creating everything but this time we are fetching the information creating there so terra terra form plan and if I'll show you there is a lot of Terraform data source for Azure you'll find plenty of data source that you can utilize okay these are the data sources right here so many so you can utilize as per your code or requirement as per this example it is fetching this virtual network so that from production and this is the ID that's how anywho let's go ahead and check our see it's creating one resource not to one so let's apply okay it will apply this resource okay while it is applying let's get back to this that from here you can see all kind of data source that you have this is the syntax data the type the logical name this is the name that exists in the uh, already existing infrastructure resources resource group name and from here you are outputting the virtual network ID okay so without getting into your portal or anything else you can getting all the information from here let's see what is happening there okay see so we are in good shape this data resource group works it says it is going to deploy one resource of one gb that's what he planned that's what they are trying to deploy and it has been deployed successfully all right that's all about data source uh let's meet in another video you have a good day take care bye bye